Today I'm taking a look at the Olight R50 Seeker. This is a lithium powered LED torch. Uh, showing you here what you get included in the pack. Quite a simple straightforward setup. We have a hand strap which you attach to the bottom of the torch. The main torch itself. Now in this pack there is a battery included which we'll get onto in a minute. You get a micro USB charging cable and it has a little Velcro wrap around it to keep it tied together. Taking a close look at the box gives you a few ideas of the specifications up to the 2500 lumens, nearly 300 meters and it's fully weather sealed as well. Uh, the maker's offering a five year warranty on this and it's a little note at the bottom about the micro USB charging too. On the back a bit more details we can see we have a single switch and there's a lockout function as well. Another element to look at obviously aluminium aircraft grade anodized as you'd expect this is a higher end torch and you're looking for something which is going to be quite robust with the run times this just gives you a general idea of the approximate run times at the brightness levels bear in mind that the outside temperature will have an effect on that too so you can expect slightly less with colder temperatures outside looking at the torch you'll see a couple of sides have a flat edge to prevent rolling just a single power button on this the cycling through the power outputs you can push and hold and go through the three main ones and you can use a multi-press to access the turbo and the strobe. You also have the lockout function which can prevent accidentally turning the torch on and draining the battery. Size of this is just over 13 centimeters, so it's actually not really any longer than the 18650 torches, it's just a bit thicker in the girth. Quick look at the front of the lens, you can see we have a solid thick glass covering and there is an orange peel reflector to help distribute the light and spread it out a bit more. On the underside we have the cover which is sealed and uh, the micro USB port is under there. So you pull that open and that reveals the port. You can see the ring of the circle there. It's a good idea to have that USB charging because it means you don't have to use an additional external charger. Just unscrew the bottom now and inside we can take out the battery. At the bottom there that is another rubber seal so that also helps to prevent moisture, dust and water getting inside. Pulling out the main battery, it's a 26650 lithium cell and it's rated to 4500 milliamps an hour. Now I tested this and it was about 4600 milliamps an hour so it's above rated specification and we have the arrows which indicate which direction to put into the torch. Simple thing but something which will help. When the torch is powered off and the light's been on you also have a luminous ring around the lens. Another nice feature is the low battery warning. Pushing it here and you'll see the red come up which shows us it needs to be charged. When you plug into the micro USB port and it's still taking a charge, it glows red and then it turns to green once the charging is complete. So it lets you know when it's finished. Charging times are going to be around about five hours on this. Now I did test the output through the USB lead and you're getting about one amp charging. So there isn't much to gain charging it externally unless you can charge it quicker than that or possibly you want a second spare battery as a backup couple of tests that I did inside with running water just to test the water resistance obviously you'd expect with this level of sealing no problems and again submersed in the water and operating the torch there's no problems at all with it it's fully sealed all around so you shouldn't have any issues at all using this out in harsh weather or, and it's also drop proof as well what I've done is just gone outside to do a quick test on the output. This has definitely got more power than some of the 18650 Olight torches that I've looked at. Um, it's impossible to really measure the luminance accurately but I can say that at this distance which is about 60 foot I mean, the illumination is very good even on the medium settings once you go up to the high and the turbo. You'll notice you get a nice spread around the peripheral edges it's not just concentrated in the middle this is a fixed position so you can't adjust the zoom on the head 
just have the one position but I don't really see that as a problem it's a pretty good torch if you're out and this is your only light source and you're walking along maybe camping or something because you get a good wide view around you quick look at the strobe mode which might be useful for an emergency a couple of thoughts and conclusions with the R50 seeker very impressed with the build and indeed the run times and light output are excellent thanks to a slightly larger battery and a different type of battery. I also like the fact that you could charge it in the torch and you also get indicators letting you know on the charge state. There's only one thing that I would have changed, I would have liked a nice holster to have been included with this. It wasn't in this pack but it's possible that it might be included in some other bundles.